What's up guys? I'm gonna do a little video out here outside today. A little bit warmer. A little bit more natural light out here. Anyhow, you guys know I've been having a issue with my alternator. I'm not charging enough. Or maybe you don't. But I got it tested and under load uh, it was only charging like nine and a half volts so my battery was slowly dying as I was driving it the guy said that when he tested it it was uh, probably a 45 amp alternator and it's that's nowhere near what I need to be so didn't expect to have all these peanuts in here but I ordered an alternator and these things are going to go everywhere All right, we're back. I had to pause that for a minute because uh, too many peanuts in that box. So I ordered a Tough Stuff 3G alternator. My original one was a 1G, and this Tough Stuff stuff is made in the USA. I believe it's made in Ohio, and this is a 150 amp alternator it's a heavy one I can definitely feel that it's powder coated black I thought that was going to be chrome it came with the wiring comes with the wiring you plug that in there battery cable goes there one of these wires comes from here one of these wires goes to the ignition and I'll have to read the other one it might be a ground I don't remember but it should be a simple pretty simple conversion um, the mounting holes are probably a quarter to three cents wider which with my mounting setup it shouldn't matter the only issue is if uh, the one V belt will actually hold uh, when the uh, the alternator kicks on when the brushes catch there's bigger brushes in there since it's a, a, that much bigger alternator with the bigger windings and all it's going to create more more of a drag so <clears throat> If it doesn't, my option will be to put a two, two belt, two V belt pulley on here, and get a two V belt crank pulley. But that's going to be the next upgrade. I'll probably do this before I put my brakes on. This is a little easier. All right, guys, have a good one. <laughs> 